So you are all decision makers. Each day, you make decisions on behalf of your organization, your family, yourself, using the best knowledge available. And fortunately, we live at a time where that best knowledge available is growing exponentially. With the help of computers and very large online data sets, doctors now make better decisions about patient treatments. Credit card companies make better decisions about which transactions might be fraud, and governments make better decisions about controlling traffic flow. So put simply, we're at the beginning of a decades-long trend toward increasingly knowledgeable decisions informed by computers and large data sets. But interestingly, most of the data that's online today is not really understandable to computers. It's in text. Our emails, books, the web. And even though computers can search that text for keywords, they don't really understand the content of the documents any more than you understand this hieroglyphic when you search for this keyword in it. And that is what is changing. Today, computers are beginning to be able to decode the meaning of the documents that they hold. And as they get better at this over the next decade, it will change dramatically the ways in which computers can help our decisions. At Carnegie Mellon, computers are now learning to read. Our never-ending language learner, we call it NEL for short, it has been at this for 24 hours a day for two years now. And each day, Nell reads more factual beliefs from the web. And each day, Nell learns to read better than the day before, which means it can go back to the same text it looked at yesterday and extract more facts more accurately today. The result of this so far is that Nell has a collection of 15 million beliefs that it's considering at different levels of confidence and that it's integrating into a vast network of beliefs. These are beliefs like the Maple Leafs are a team that plays hockey and their hometown is Toronto. Or Toyota competes with General Motors and produces the Prius. Or hockey requires helmet and skates. And Nell is not just reading and integrating these beliefs into a vast network, it's also data mining these to discover regularities that hold in the world that it's reading about. For example, Nell has discovered the regularity that typically if some athlete A plays on some team T and team T plays sport S, then athlete A also plays sport S. And Nell uses this rule and thousands of others it has discovered to now infer new beliefs that it hasn't read, but that it deduces from other beliefs it has read. And now um, <coughs> Nell is not perfect, but it's a better reader than it was a year ago, and it's improving daily. So what are the implications of computers learning to read? Well, think of it this way. If you could read one book a day for 100 years, you would read 36,000 books. But Amazon has a million books online today, and there are a trillion web pages. When computers read, they will read it all, and they will be better read than you and I by a factor of a million. Computers will then become our reading assistants and change forever the way that we interact with the web. That research biologist who currently has no way of keeping up with 5,000 journal publications a year in their field will have a reading assistant that will. When people are looking for that new job and learn, need to learn this new topic, their reading assistant will read up on it and prepare a personal tutorial along with pointers to follow up reading. And computers will also read in real time the unending stream of news articles and social network feeds that are always coming in on the web. Politicians will have readers that will monitor these to help them understand what their people really think about the latest policy issues. And marketers will have reading assistants that will help them understand what product features people really want. This decade, computer reading systems, assistants for us, 
will make each of us more knowledgeable than is humanly possible today. And if we are wise, then becoming more knowledgeable should also make us better decision makers. Thank you.